Wow, I really like the intensity behind his vocal. He does too. So he has a really nice mix right here when he goes up into that high spot and then mixing it up with his falsetto. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Hey guys, so I've got a sty in my eye and that's actually why, unfortunately, I can't wear contacts today because of the infection. So got my glasses on here. That's the reason for the difference. So let's jump into this song right here. Nice. So based on the intro, I was expecting one very specific approach to singing this. And it seems like it's a little bit more fast paced than I, I was expecting. What I mean by that is that it kind of has winter bears type of lullaby intro, and then it kind of picks up once his vocal jumps in. If you want to see an uncut version of this video, check out the link in the description. <laughs> All right, so I like how all the instrumentation is picking up as well. So they've really done a great job of building dynamics into the instrumentation of the song, starting off with a very light. <coughs> See, he likes it too. Starting with a very light lullaby type of synthesizer, now moving into much heavier instrumentation. <laughs> Wow, I really like the intensity behind his vocal. He does too. So he has a really nice mix right here when he goes up into that high spot and then mixing it up with his falsetto. If you're interested in getting a free lesson with me, please check out the link right here. So he starts off with a falsetto and down into a mix. And I really like the content of the song. You know, here I'm reading the English lyrics and it's kind of like a sad-ish song or sadder song that is disguised in very upbeat music. I really like that type of irony in songs. So like where you've got sad lyrics in happy tune, happy lyrics in a sad tune. I like that irony. We don't change. There's a really nice chorus effect going in there. Like it almost sounds like there's a choir behind V as he sings it. Ah, okay. There's a bit of a progression to the lyrics of this song. It's moving from that sadder content to now a much happier, lighter sort of feel. Like it sounds very nostalgic, very reflective. I really like this approach to the song. Very, very nice. It's so nice the, the way how as the song goes, that chorus takes on a different meaning in the different, like after the different verses of the song. So you kind of, it's a sad chorus, but then when you have it juxtaposed with a very upbeat, or sorry, like a more positive, optimistic verse, it takes on a new meaning. <laughs> So I love this bridge area, what he's doing with his vocal, what they've done with the instrumentation, and what he's doing with the lyrics. So here he's leaving it as a question, throwing in questions. See, he really likes the bridge too. So he's throwing in questions here at this point, and that leads the listener to kind of want to hear how that affects the chorus, how that affects the overall message of the song. When you kind of have those questions in the bridge that kind of get answered up in the final chorus of the song. So I love that harmony right there. You've got that upper harmony that is assisting V's chest vocal there. That reminds me of Jimin. I wonder if that was Jimin singing that upper harmony. And so you see how literally that question he asked himself or asked to whoever he's singing the song to in the bridge gets answered right there. Love it. We 
Amazing ending. Exactly where I wanted, like, wanted that ending to be solid and just like on a strong note. I'm really glad he made that choice. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more videos like this, he's telling you. You hear him? He's saying, check that one out. Yeah? He's excited for you to check that out.